Yo, what is up everyone? How's it going? And welcome back to Get Jacked. Now, what we're going to be doing for this video is actually going out and taming up the two new creatures added to the swamp and arc. Now, this was in patch 248 a couple days ago, so I definitely want to go out, test them out, see what the tames like, and all that kind of fun stuff. So, we've got the Caprasuchus, uh, which is actually a smaller version of the Sarko. Now, it, it's got a leaping attack and whatnot. I definitely want to see what that's all about. So, I'm going to find a high-level one of those, definitely. I, I'm, I'm looking at having quite a few of these in the uh, pond where I've got the beavers down here. So, along with that, we've got the uh, Diplocolis, which is a cheap version of the scuba tank. You can actually uh, get one of these, tame them up, and take them down to the bottom of the ocean where you can ride them and use them for air. So I'm hoping I can get some, so the crocodile guy in there, and then I've got a new spot set up for the Diplocolis as well. So we, in the last video we tamed up the Calicotherium, which you can you you can like use weapons and stuff while mounted, which is freaking awesome. Like the ability to do that and to just use them like this is makes them so versatile. I know you can do this with other uh, ones of the dinosaurs as well, but these guys have such a great weight capacity that it makes it really simple. So this was the third one that was added in the last patch. But one thing I didn't note what, what I was just doing there, I wanted to kind of point it out in this video was you can actually attack. You can see, see he's kind of attacking. It's hard to kind of tell, but he's attacking. So you use C and you can attack and shoot at the same time. So let's go check out the new pen and uh, then we'll go tame these up. Okay, so this is right down here from the base, which is right in the pond down there. Now, I threw a dock onto this, just so that we can get some basic stuff going, because I haven't really tamed up any of the water creatures or dinosaurs yet, so I definitely want to do that, but I think we're going to start with the Diplocolis, so we're going to bring him over here, tame that thing up, because, I mean, the nice thing is, is that you can actually bring him in and out of the water, so he stays protected all the time, because that's the, the only problem with taming up mantas and ithys and the like megalodons to, to like start is they just die if you leave them alone if you say your base is in one location from your your sea base you leave them alone on the shore they're gonna get killed because the spawns are so ridiculous on the center sometimes so this is what we've got to start out with now we just have to fill it up with some stuff so i'm gonna go find a uh, probably the caprasuchus first uh, but we gotta head out to the swamp and find a good spot to tame these because that area is sadly ridiculously dangerous yo what up guys i think we're interrupting something all right we'll, we'll get out of here anyway i'm parking the quets up high because this area is Pretty much every time I bring the quets in here, I, I lose it. So I'm going to park him right up here. We're going to grapple our way down. I'm just looking for a good spot. All right, let's, I'm just going right here, and uh, I'm going to find one of these crocodile things. It's starting to get dark. I've been searching for, for a little while. been chased pretty much by everything else around, so it's probably about time I found it. Oh, oh I think that's one. All right, so that one's level 60. So, okay, let's see if I can get towards it. Uh, I'm not sure. They have a really far leap attack, and I'm not sure what the range or what their aggro range is. So, we're going to find... Oh! We're... Oh, they're that far. Okay, um, can I grapple, like, away from it? If I escaped? No! Oh, my gosh, it's like... Okay, it's, like, stuck to me. So it like, like latches on or something along those lines. Um, I'm, st I'm stuck. Oh, my grappling hook is, is connected. I'm going to have to just kill him. I don't think we're going to be able to tame this one. He's breaking all my armor. I just got here. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's just stay in one spot. Get out the pike. All right. Good thing he doesn't do that much damage because if this was anything else, he'd probably be uh, dead. You dead? Okay, alright, now we need to find a, a living one to tame. That, that one's not going to work. Okay, so here we go. I figured probably going up here is a better idea than just running around uh, stupidly in the swamp, being attacked by them. So, we've got the aerial advantage. Let's see how much this takes to knock this thing out. Is it asleep? Seriously? Okay. Alright, that's it. One, one dart. Was that one dart? Was that, was that two? I don't know. I can't even remember. It was so short. All right. Anyway, 
Let's get this guy. He's kind of floating on top of the water. That's convenient. Oh, yeah. yeah. You stay over there, piranha. Okay, let's get rid of this thing. Oh, my God. There's so many piranhas. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, get off of me. <laughs> what is this? Oh, okay. Um, that was another one of them. I didn't, I, I didn't even know what happened for a second. I was just, I had no idea. Okay, let's turn up the gamma a little bit since it's now dark. Okay, did we take care of all the piranhas? Now, this thing is going to take meat or tapajara kibble. So, I've got the kibble. So, I'm not sure how much this one's going to take. It's only level 8. I didn't realize it was this low. All this work for this guy. He's got like 200 health. Uh, that stinks. But anyway, I think we're safe here for a second. I'm going to wait for this thing to tame up, I guess. Okay, well that was exciting. I figured I'd spend my time killing Mega Piranha. I, f I just wanted to clear out the whole swamp. They just kept coming, seriously. Wave after wave of Piranha. It was kind of ridiculous. But anyway, this guy is taking, I think he's going to take three kibble total. So that's that. This is a nice simple one. I'm going to find a higher level one as well. But let's go find one of these other guys first. Alright, here we go. Now I'm going to take the easy route with this guy. Now both of them can actually be picked up with the Quets. I'm not sure about the Argent. I'll have to test that out, but... I spotted this guy level I think it was 105 or 115 something along those lines but check out the colors these things are freaking these are sick I love this thing already haven't even tamed it up looks like a giant prehistoric tadpole but anyway this is gonna be our route to the ocean first I mean we're we're this far into the game and haven't really gone too much into the ocean I've I've tamed up stuff but it always dies on the shore so this one I can at least pack up and take home with me anyway let's bring it over and uh, let's see how the tame goes with these guys okay so just brought it straight over to the pen here and there he is I'm just gonna start uh, tranking it now this one is a normal knockout tame just like the other almost shot it with the normal gun there that would not have been good I don't think these have a ridiculous amount of health so let's see here oh, he's got a dart right in his, his nose look at how cute they are I can't I can't I can't even they're just too cute I need to get a whole bunch of these things and also I need to figure out if you can breed them because that would be that would be amazing to see a baby one of these okay I, th I thought it, I'm gonna be honest I thought it was gonna take very few darts to knock this thing out and it's actually level one what is that 125 this turned out to be a really really good one but anyway there he goes He's knocked out. Let's see here. Stats wise. He's got like 400 health. Yeah, he's not going to last too long out there. So definitely going to have to boost that up a ton. Now let's throw these in. Not sure if I'm going to actually need them. I didn't, uh, for the smaller level Caprosuchus, I didn't need any narcotics at all. So that wasn't a problem. This guy doesn't look like he's going to really need any either. So I'm going to get this tame going. But we're going to actually have to use some prime meat for this guy because they take Archaeopteryx kibble, which I've only got one of. So not going to be getting very very many eggs from him. He's not uh, he's not a big egg layer. Uh, so I'm just going to have to murder something around here. We'll be right back when this thing's tamed. Do you want to see this thing be tamed? I mean, it's just prime meat. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. I'm going to kill this thing, and I'll be back when he's all set. Okay, so 
The Diplocolis is all set and tamed up. Wasn't too bad of a tame, actually. Now, I did want to show you just the ending of this guy. I tamed up a, what was it? I think he was level 115 or something like that. Uh, this is the Caprosuchus that we're going to test out. Uh, we're going to bring him over to the other area, and we'll test out both of them together. Okay, so here we are. Figured I wouldn't even repair the armor since we're taking a nice little jaunt in the water. Does that apply? I'm not sure. But anyway, the <laughs> the C button, it kind of, he attacks and lowers. I'm not sure what the, what the purpose of that is. The right click is going to be a jump, which he can also perform underwater with, I don't, I don't know, just, where does he get the thrust? I'm not sure. Watch. Check it out. <laughs> like, okay. All right. I guess you could leap underwater. Not a big deal. Gravity doesn't apply. Anyway, uh, we're gonna check this out. I thought I was hoping that he could grab like fish in his jaws or something, but doesn't seem to be working. So we'll test this out on land. I do want to show you something. If we could find one of these little guys. Now, if you find a compy, let me see. Usually you can find them everywhere, but now that I'm searching, I, I can almost guarantee, uh, and none of them will appear. So let's see here. If you find one of them, they, they can actually grab, he can grab them into the, the jaws. Now, I'm not sure what the purpose of that is, or if there are other things that you can do it with. Oh, maybe I could do it with this. Nope. Can't, you cannot pick up an ant. Let's see here. An interesting noise. It, it doesn't really match the way, it sounds like a horse trot. Doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe it's just really loud. Let's see here. Compies? Any compies? I and the and the, another thing is the stamina does not drain very quickly, so they can make it pretty far on just one one tank. Uh, but nope, can't grab the birds, so it's not really useful. I, I was hoping you could grab like the bird or something, something useful. I, I don't know why grabbing a compy would be a benefit to you. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at there. Oh, uh, no, those were just ants, which we can't get. Oh, that poor that terror bird's going to be attacking that guy for so long. They just do that forever. Oh, I saw some compies. Where'd he go? Where you at? Let me buff up his health. There he is. Okay, so check this out. We've done it. We've grabbed a compy. My mouth is just... His mouth... Not my mouth. His mouth is just watering. Watch. Uh, uh, let me get over here. Let's go over this area. We're gonna bring it home with us. And then I'll show you. Okay. So, look at this. Wait, he'll just start drooling. Wait, let me grab him. Maybe he only drools when you grab him. I think C grabs him too. So let me test that out. Yeah, see, look, he's just slobbering all over the place. Yeah, compy. I don't know why you could do this. Why is it? But you can also just eat them. <laughs> it's so, it's so brutal. But anyway, that is that is a thing that you can do with these. Not sure if it's just for bringing back a, a compy. Maybe you can like grab a penguin or something. I'm not sure. But let's test out this guy. He lo he looks really cool. Then now this guy is pretty quick actually. Look at even on land, he he just kind of hobbles along pretty quickly. So let's. Can we... Oh, I can't ride him outside of the water. Alright, let's grab him. Follow me. Come here. Oh, yeah. You can turn around. There we go. Alright. Oh, look at that. It's <laughs> so... Oh, my gosh. Uh, so, ride isn't the automatic E option. Take oxygen is. So, when you're out and about, you can just grab some oxygen. Kind of like how the... Those, those camel guys work in Scorched Earth how they kind of collect water and whatnot. This guy collects oxygen. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this thing. I just need a whole army of, of tadpole type things. So anyway, let's head down to the bottom and see what, what, what he's capable of. Now, when you're on his back, it looks like my oxygen is just going up as is. You don't actually have to drink or gulp from him. What would you consider that? Breathe from him? Which I don't even know how the, how that functions, but oh, let's kill this anglerfish. This is one thing I want to test. Now I want to see not only how effective they are at killing stuff, but if they gather maybe a higher amount of angler gel or black pearls. So those are the two I want to test because 
that would be the use of these really early on is to get black pearls for you know an experience potion or to get the angler gel from the anglerfish which is you know using quite a few of other things so anyway maybe if oh, oh my gosh Oh, the rate, the turn radius. That could, that could maybe be improved. I do wish that it could back up. It can't back up, and I feel like it should be able to. To make it a little bit more effective. Okay, I'm gonna try and just kill this guy. They might kill me by then. If there's a megalodon or something over here, I would definitely die. Now. On that note, I think they've kind of tamed down the or turned down the spawns on the center map with the ocean because they were freaking horrible. There was this area was so bad it was lagging up the map. Yes, yes, finally, finally we've killed. Okay, so we've gotten 24, 36, 44, 50. Okay, I'm not gonna keep reading them off, but this is quite a bit actually. Now these this is five times gather rate, so. Still, you'd get quite a bit, even in official raids. Is it still going? Okay, that was not, not that bad. But, anyway, let's see if we can find one of these sea bugs. And get some black pearls. So, where are we? I think I just saw one over here behind this rock. Don't knock me out. I hope this thing will withstand. Oh, there he is! <laughs> Look at him, he's almost as big as him. Did they make these bigger? Or do, is this guy just really that small? I'm not sure. He seems large. Okay. Don't fall asleep or die. This thing. <laughs> okay. Alright. It's gonna die. Alright. So let's see here. Oh my. It gets uh, quite a bit of chitin. But okay. So it might be good for harvesting from trilobites and stuff too. So definitely not good for black pearls. I think you only got one from that. So not gonna be a very. What was that? You grumbling at me, man? Alright, we'll go back up to the top. So I'm gonna bring this guy. Or, was this a guy? I think it was, yes. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's nice being able to actually swim around down here without getting murdered instantly. Oh, there's one shark. We'll stay, steer clear. But, is there a rise? Oh, yeah, okay. Space bar is to rise up to the surface. Okay, so that's how you do that. So, this is a definitely a useful one. I'm pretty excited to have quite a few of them, and I want to see... If I can get some uh, some babies made it up of these, and and the other ones would be pretty cute. So definitely got to check those out. Anyway, that's where we're probably gonna stop for today. We got both of them, tested them out. I really like the mechanics that they're implementing. It looks like they're using the scorched earth mechanics. Like the leap from the Caprasuchus is just like the the mantis leap, and then this guy's kind of oxygen thing is like the camels water use so it's kind of cool that they kind of tested those out in scorched earth and now they're bringing them over to the normal arc so that's nice but that's where we're going to stop for today i'm going to throw this guy on the new dock area but if you like this video definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you all have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you next time